Super excited to tell you about the latest release of Rapids QDF. You might have seen Rapids QDF before. This is a innovation by NVIDIA that allows you to add GPU capabilities to Pandas. Pandas is awesome. Everybody loves Pandas. Pandas is the SQL for, for Python. And this, but it's always been the slow kid on, on the block. So this allows you to basically speed up Pandas to acceptable levels for your projects. Now, this is nothing new. CUDA, CUDA uh, through Rapids has been doing this really for, for years. The problem is, and the reason that I could never really get my hands around Rapids was that it always required a lot of modification to your code to really make use of all of the areas of this, this technology. So you'd, you'd have this big long Python script and you'd try to run it through QDF and it just, it just wouldn't work. Various areas would have certain errors because it just could not, it's not able to convert everything into GPU compatible code. This new version does something really, really smart. They allow, their their module to basically take control of a python script or a jupyter notebook and it they they provide code for showing how to do this in colab as well you execute the code and it just it uses regular pandas import pandas as P, pd and it intelligently as you're executing it determines what it can execute what it cannot somewhat by trial and error somewhat by analysis and as you're creating new objects, you can see here, it will create QDF when it can, it will create pandas when it can't. So everything is going to work. It falls back to the CPU if it can't run this on the GPU. This means that team members are not going to have to all have GPUs. You can develop code completely in pandas and then accelerate it with this if you're running it on a production system or on a developer's laptop or other machine that actually has an advanced GPU. It does still require Linux, Unix. So the way that I am actually running it is I have that machine in the background that has an NVIDIA RTX 6000, Ada Lovelace. Thank you to NVIDIA for providing me with that and also for providing me with advanced access to this technology that just came out today. So let's have a look at how we would actually use it. And if you wanted to use it on Windows, you'd be using WSL2, which works really quite well. The approach that I have used for this is to just remotely connect to that machine. Now, before you get into that, this is the installation page. So you can see the latest version here is 23.10. And you can pick how you want to install it. I just love these, these installation pages like this. I think, I think PyTorch was the one that originally started putting these kind of screens together. Compared to years of banging my head against the wall with TensorFlow, this, this is how you install. You pick all the options. You don't necessarily want to just pick the latest and greatest here because the latest CUDA, the latest Python, some of your libraries might not be compatible with that. So that's why they always give you some, a couple of fallbacks. Pick other things that you want to install, and then you've got this handy dandy command that you just want to copy and paste. Once you're in Jupyter, you can use this sort of a command here load ext qdf.pandas. This loads their module for you from NVIDIA. And then you can just do normal import pandas. So you just put that one little command at the very, very top. If you're running a PY file, just use this command to actually execute it from the command line and you will be fine. This is this notebook is 10 minutes to QDF. This is in the NVIDIA blog post link that I have linked in the description. This is NVIDIA code. Uh, but works works quite well. I've been using this to experiment with. This is connected to that machine back there, so I'm able to execute the commands sort of remotely. That's how I often deal with running things in Linux when I'm still in my home environment. Usually I'm using this machine, which is a, which is a Windows laptop that I do a lot of my recordings off of. 
I can also use WSL if I wanted to run it on this machine as well. Some of the amazing features of this new technology, all of the functionality for QDF's Pandas Accelerated mode is now available through a unified QDF.Pandas. And even better than that, if you're using it in module mode, it's going to automatically map regular pandas to, to itself. So you, this is very light touch to get a, additional speed. Improved support for integrating with third-party libraries like XGBoost, SciPy, and more. I have used it a little with SciPy, but not with XGBoost yet. Probably more to come there. Better alignment with pandas and more functionality support on GPUs versus CPU fallback. So more and more uh, in, in the briefing calls, they mentioned how they are literally running this against the unit tests for pandas to get more and more and more compatibility of things that will actually run in the GPU. I tried this on a data set that I did a research paper on, you see it here, with a local hospital, and I was able to get around 70% of our pandas code running completely through this for about a, a 20 times the speed improvement. I've seen reports of this up to 150 times the, the speed improvement, just drop in. This pandas code that we wrote, we never thought of running it on on QDF. So it's very nice that it, it works that fast. Faster, more robust, formative profiler. You can see this here. It's showing you which parts of the code are actually running in which. You can do that by printing the types, and then it gives you this nice table at the bottom. Simplified ins installation process. I showed you that earlier. It's, it's, it's super, super easy. So huge thank you to NVIDIA for all the support of the channel and letting me see this stuff early and hardware to run it on. Thank you for watching the video. What do you think? Do you want to see more videos on this? Certainly anything I'm doing with Pandas in the future, I'm going to probably make use of, of this just because it makes it so, so easy. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this. And was the video helpful to you? Give me a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel to see more of this kind of material.